Welcome to Snay, the show where we provide you with music to give you a lift, motivation to lift you higher, and ministry so you can catapult into the heavens and soar and become all that God intended for you to be when he made you. I am your host, Dr. Jermaine Gordon, and we have a very exciting show lined up for you today. Motivation is something we need every day of our lives, and we have a very powerful motivation by someone who is in the theaters, he's in the cinema, and he's one of our own. Enjoy. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Now I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Without consistency, you'll never finish. So do what you feel passionate about, passionate about. Take chances. Don't be afraid to fail. There's an old IQ test was nine dots and you had to draw five lines with a pencil within these nine dots without lifting the pencil. The only way to do it was to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs fall forward. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Because the 1,001st was the light bulb. Fall forward. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks, and I'm sure you've probably heard that before, but I want to talk to you about why that's so important. You will fail at some point in your life, accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. There's no doubt about it. And I know that's probably not a traditional message for a graduation ceremony, but hey, I'm telling you, embrace it because it's inevitable. In the acting business, you fail all the time. Early on in my career, I auditioned for a part in a Broadway musical. Perfect role for me, I thought, except for the fact that I can't sing. I didn't get the job. But here's the thing, I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I walked out of there to prepare for the next audition and the next audition and the next audition. I prayed, I prayed, and I prayed. But I continued to fail, and fail, and fail. But it didn't matter, because you know what? There's an old saying, you hang around the barbershop long enough, sooner or later you're gonna get a haircut. So you will catch a break, and I did catch a break. Last year, I did a play called Fences on Broadway. But here's the kicker. It was at the court theater. It was at the same theater that I failed that first audition 30 years prior. The point is, every graduate here today has the training and the talent to succeed. 
but do you have the guts to fail? If you don't fail, you're not even trying. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Just imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? I just got back from South Africa. It's a beautiful country. But there are places there with terrible poverty that need help. And Africa is just the, the, the tip of the iceberg. The Middle East needs your help. Japan needs your help. Alabama needs your help. Tennessee needs your help. Louisiana needs your help. Philadelphia needs your help. The world needs a lot and we need it from you. We really do. We need it from you young people. I mean, I'm not speaking for the rest of us up here, but I know I'm getting a little grayer. We need it from you, the young people, because remember this. You got to get out there. You got to give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your, your, your talent, your prayers, or your treasures. What are you going to do with what you have? I'm not talking about how much you have. Some of you are business majors, some of you are theologians, nurses, sociologists, some of you have money, some of you have patience, some of you have kindness, some of you have love, some of you have the gift of long suffering, whatever it is, whatever your gift is, what are you going to do with what you have? All right, now here's my last point about failure. Sometimes it's the best way to figure out where you're going. Your life will never be a straight path. I began at Fordham University as a pre-med student. I, I took a course called the Cardiac Morphogenesis. I couldn't read it, I couldn't say it, I sure couldn't pass it. So then I decided to go into pre-law, then journalism. And with no academic focus, my grades took off in their own direction. I was a 1.8 GPA. And the university very politely suggested that it might be better to take some time off. I was 20 years old, I was at my lowest point. And then one day, and I remember the exact day, March 27, 1975, I was helping my mother in her beauty shop. My mother owned a beauty shop up in Mount Vernon. And there's, there was this older woman who was uh, considered one of the elders in the town. And, I didn't know her personally, but I, I was looking in the mirror, and every time I looked at the mirror, I could see her behind me, and she was staring at me. She just kept looking at me. Every time I looked at her, she kept giving me these strange looks. So she finally took the dryer off her head and said, to some, she said something I'll never forget. She said, young boy, I have a prophecy, a spiritual prophecy. She said, you are going to travel the world and speak to millions of people. And in the years that followed, just as that woman prophesied, I have traveled the world and I have spoken to millions of people through my movies. Millions who up till this day couldn't see me, I, who, who up till this day I couldn't see while I was talking to them and they couldn't see me, they could only see the movie. They couldn't see the real me. But I see you today and I'm encouraged by what I see. And I'm strengthened by what I see. Because taking risk is not just about going for a job. It's also about knowing what you know 
and what you don't know. It's about being open to people and to ideas. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. Never be discouraged. Never hold back. Give everything you got. And when you fall throughout life, remember this. Fall forward. Today's scripture is one of my favorite. As a young boy, this was one of the scriptures that I grew up with in high school. And I want to encourage you with this very same scripture from Joshua. Joshua 1 from verse 6 to 7. Be strong and courageous, for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do.
being brave, being bold, is perhaps one of the most important virtues, characteristics, in order to fulfill any of what God has given us to do. It's very important that we are not afraid, that we are courageous. And God had to say to Joshua once and twice, have not I commanded you, be courageous, be bold. And so I wanna encourage you to be bold in doing what you are called to do. I want to encourage you to have the necessary courage that you need to step forward, take that risk, take that chance and be and become who God has said you should and would be. I'm telling you, in order to fulfill God's laws, all of God's laws, all of God's instructions is going to take in this time, 2021, it's going to take boldness. It's going to take courage. We're going to have to be willing to go against the odds when God has given us instruction. We have to be bold. Be bold. When I was growing up, at age four, I recall playing pots and pans and the dishes, use whatever I could find to hit with a spoon as a, as a little boy. And I would sing. I would sing songs of praise. I would sing songs of adoration. In fact, then one of the, the very popular songs among the children was, God is not dead. He's alive. God is not dead. He's alive. I feel him in my hands. I feel him in my feet. I feel him all over me. And so as a young boy, I would sing. I would make noise, as, as David says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And I'm telling you that some, some parents can, can barely stand that kind of noise in the house. And I had my fair share of challenge with my father because he would, he would get mad in the house and he would, he would throw the stuff out, you know, saying, you, I'm making too much noise. And no doubt, maybe where you are, you have children and they love to sing and they, it seems like noise, but it's really the praise of God coming out of their bellies according to Psalm. And at age nine, I, I finally started playing a drum set or what we call a trap set at a church close by. That was my first official playing of a drum set. And today my father asked, do you have any new music? And so I wanna say to you, if you don't have someone in your corner, if you perhaps feel as if no one is there to support you where you are right now, I want to encourage you. I want to say to you, keep going, become excellent at what you're doing. And God is going to send you your support. God is going to send you your partner. Those who will lift you up in prayer, those who will stand beside you. And I want to tell you, it has happened to me and God surely is helping me into a, and moving me into a better place. And I want to say to you as well that God will do it just the same just the same and we we do need encouragement we do need guidance and we do need support as creative persons and i want to encourage you i want to support you and i want to guide you with the word of god that even if where you are seems dark and it seems alone i want to encourage you to keep pressing keep rehearsing keep practicing keep going go, doing the hard works keep hitting the late night because it will worth it will be worth it in the end i'm telling you i i i just had i just released my second project in 10 years i've just released my second project the first project the, that, that created three hit songs one of which is has over seven million views today and i want to say to you i don't believe i don't really believe that i have i have reached where i want to be but i'm on a good path and i want to encourage you that you too can be on a good path. Continue to hold your head high. Continue to believe in your dreams. Continue to believe in what God has deposited in your heart. And I wanna encourage the parents today that if your children are singing, encourage them. Encourage them to sing. Encourage them to make a joyful noise. I know it might not sound as pleasing as you want, to, but it, it, we're starting something that could be, be become an instrument, a tool that will change the world. David was in the back. He was in the back caring for the sheep. He was taking care of the sheep and out of spending time and mastering his craft, he was ultimately called by the king 
to serve before the king. And I want to say to you, wherever you are, if you're in the a, in a backstage, the background, and no one seems to notice you, keep pressing, keep doing it. Bring your, your craft or your art to an, a perfection, to, 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 to a certain level that God will recognize you and promote you. I bless you today. I thank you and I hope you enjoyed today's show. It has truly been a blessing to me and I hope it has been a blessing to you. Share this with someone and encourage them to come and watch. See you next week, same time, same place. I am your host, Dr. Jermaine Gordon. Snay, walk in faith and walk with excellence. Give you honor.
deserve. 